Hi boys and girls, it's teacher Nicole and Layla. We're here in Layla's room. You can see her bed behind us and all of her artwork from Lingren. Well, some of it, right Layla? And we decided that today we would pick two books out of Layla's bookshelf and read them to you. So the first book, I picked out a book actually, and Layla picked out a book. So the book that I picked out is this one. Oh, Pete the Cat, Too Cool for School. I'm gonna read it. I know we've read it at school, so I thought it would be a good one. And then Layla and I will read hers. Pete wants to look cool. He asks everyone, what should I wear? Let's see. Your yellow shirt, his mom says. It's my favorite. So Pete does. Wear your red shirt, Pete's friend Marty says. It is my favorite. He's a monkey. So Pete does. He's, He's a, a monkey. monkey. He is a monkey. He's a monkey. Holding a banana. Wear your blue shirt, Pete's brother Bob says. It is my favorite. So Pete does. Wear your long pants, Pete's teacher says. They are my favorite. So Pete does. Look, it looks like teacher Nicole with her glasses. Meow. Meow. Wear the shorts with the fish, Pete's friend Callie says. They're my favorite. So Pete does. There's his shorts with all the fishies on it. It's so cute. Wear the polka dot socks, the bus driver says. They're my favorite. This is polka dot socks. So Pete does. See them, Layla? I have purple socks that have um, yellow polka dots on them. That's cool. Wear the cowboy boots, Grumpy Toad says. They're my favorite. So Pete does. See that they have little, um, little horse shoes that are shaped like that and little diamonds at the end. Wow, they're There's pretty fancy. At the end. Wear the tie-dye. Wear the, oh, the tie with the stripes, Emma says. It's my favorite. So Pete does. He puts on his doggy. tie. He's a doggy. <laughs> Emma's a dog. My dog's my favorite. Wear your baseball hat, his coach says. It's my favorite. So Pete does. He's listening to all of his friends and family. Pete puts on all the clothes. Does he look cool? Does he look cool, Layla? He looks pretty cool to me. He's got the boots on, the tie, the fishy shorts. Let's see what happens. No, Pete doesn't look cool. He looks silly. He also feels very hot with all those clothes on. I would feel very hot too, wouldn't you? <laughs> Pete goes home. He changes his clothes and Pete puts on his favorite shirt. Pete puts on his favorite pants. Just a plain yellow t-shirt, Layla, and plain jeans. Not too hot, not too much, right? He puts on his favorite socks and he puts on his favorite shoes. And most importantly, Pete puts on his favorite glasses. Pete says, now I'm cool. If you wanna be cool, just be you. And you, right? There's Pete the cat and Layla picked this book out. Show the boys and girls what book it is, Layla called Gus Grows a plant. a plant. Sunflower. Yes, and because it's spring, right? It would go. be time to grow. Oh, look, there's also a little worm. A little wormy on the bottom. There's a worm right there. <laughs> okay, go ahead. May I help you with the words? Turn the first page, not that one. One more. That's the title page. Turn the I page. know, but I want to read this. Okay, page. sure. You can tell. Pete grows a plant. Gus grows a plant. Okay. Gus grows a plant. 
Brynn is here. Oh, look, there's a little bird. Do you realize the bird is singing and there's a little note right there? And it says, spring is here. Yeah. Okay, let, let's stand up and you can hold the pages like this. I'll hold the pages and you read this. You read the story. Okay. okay. Time to plant. Gus. Here he has a little um, bag of seeds, and he already dig the pool. He already um dig the hole, and then there's a bag of seeds. He he's gonna put it in the hole and then the water. Let's see what he does. If she's right. His dad digs, and Gus digs, too. too. Um, Watch your body so they can see the pictures. They. What is he doing? He's planting he's the planted, seed. And then watering it. And then the seed needs water, water to grow. That's what you do for all the plants. Soon, Gus yes. has a plant. A plant. See the plant? Let's get a little closer for that. Get right there. See? And the plant and has a what? A worm, just like the front. A worm. The worm actually helps the plant grow. He's watering it, and then he's flashlighting it. Because Cause, the, cause the plant needs a lot of sun. He needs a lot of sun. Watch it's the this. sunshine. Watch this. Hold it right there. The plant needs sunshine. Mm -hmm. So when it's cloudy, Gus puts the sunshine, the flashlight on it. Watch your body, honey. There. What's this? And he also needs fresh air, so he's giving oh, yeah, it a fan. Oh, yeah, that's a green fan. And if he gets sun and fresh air, he'll grow. And grow. grow. How big is it now? It's a flower. It's as tall as Gus is. And it's even bigger. Yeah. It's even taller than Gus now. Here, look, it has a rake right there. A rake. Uh-oh, Mommy says, wait, and Gus has an idea. Let go so I can show them the pictures. He's done. He has an idea. What's he going to do? Can I leave this part? It says, Gus grows, grows too. too. He stood on the ladder to be just as tall as what? The, the plant. As tall as the plant. The end. How does he? Well, we hope you like those two books. We hope you're doing well, right? And that you go outside and play today because it's very sunny out. What are we going to do? Go maybe do chalk on the road or something? Ride bikes? It's a little bit of cold outside. Oh, so maybe you need a little light jacket, right? But we miss you so much. I miss each and every one of you, Summer House, and the whole school, the Oak Room, and the Blue Room, and the Yellow Room. I miss every single person at school. Mom. Yeah. I want to tell them which I'm class I'm in. And Layla's in the blue class. She wants you to know, but you guys already know that. Anyway, we I'm miss you. Some people. We love you, and we hope to see you soon. Mwah. Bye.